come you're sitting in here? Why can't you usually get you at your room? You're playing one of your games. I just don't like being in there. Well, we could redecorate if you want. Pick some new wallpaper, move things about a bit. It's not the room, I've just had enough of being alone. All right. You've not really spoke about what like it was in the unit. That's because I don't want to talk about it. Well, if you change your mind, you know I'm here for you. <sighs> You're back with your family now, son. What's the matter? It's just... Sometimes I wish I could go back and stop all the things I did wrong. If I hadn't got into so much trouble, maybe you wouldn't be so unhappy. I'm not unhappy. I'm not daft, Gran. So it's just you and Mikey celebrating. You haven't touched your tea. How's Cal getting on? Well, he's not really himself yet, but... Did he have a tough time in the unit? Well, that takes time to adjust to, but... He'll be all right. I don't know, Bernie. It'd be easier if he was just left alone to settle back in with the family. What do you mean? Well, we've got social workers visiting to check in how he's doing at home. I just feel like I've let him down. I have not been a good grandma. You have been a good grandma. And at least he's at home. Bob told me you came to the rescue. This time of year, it, it brings the best out in folk, you know, like Ebenezer Scrooge, uh, Lenny Murder. Oh. <sighs> Hi. Did Bob tell you about Andrew? I'd be lying if I said I was sorry. Wonder how many other lies he's tell. Well, don't worry about that now. You're shot him. What if they're just telling the truth? Well, there's only two people that knew exactly what happened and one of them's done a runner. Think that tells you the story? Maybe I should go and speak to you. We'll try and make things right. What good would that do? People don't need that just now. But if I said I was sorry? Yeah, well, it's just... Don't just stir things up again. Just let it be. I've let everybody down, Bernie. Made a mess of everything. <sighs> You'll work it out. You always do. And what you need to do to make things right is go and see your family. You've got to put your family first. Lenny, is Lydia in? Can I talk to you then? You make it quick. Aye, right, um, I really need to know about, you know, what happened. You must tell. You don't listen. I, I really need to get this straight because something just isn't right and I know that it's obvious that Andrew has been hiding stuff from me. And what have you figured out? He's lying to me. And I know there was another woman. He said you were trying to get her to say things about him. Patricia Brookfield. Aye. So why would she want to say stuff about Andrew? Why do you think? Because she thinks that Andrew... Assaulted her? Yeah, she was ready to come forward. Then he paid her off. That's what I saw her always do. Now? You have all the facts. I will. I've discovered a few facts about you and all. Being killed! Sometimes in these situations, people can get caught in the crossfire. I didn't deserve that! You turned your back on your friend when she needed you most. I was in love with him! Even after what he did to Cal? What are you talking about? Come on, we both know Cal didn't deserve to get into that unit. Why would Andrew do that to Cal? To hurt me. 
to him cause collateral damage. No, 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 he wouldn't do that. His sister Victoria admitted what he did. So what did he do? Same as he done with Patricia Brookfield. Used his money to exploit vulnerable people. Whose story was it finally convinced that Cal was at risk? So Andrew paid off that boy's family or not? And I've noticed he's still not back to himself. Alex and Amber, they might see him. They lift his spirits. How could you know see what that scumbag was capable of? He's made a total fool out of me. Yeah, well, don't worry. He'll give us killing him. How are you going to do that now that he's gone? Gone where? Hey, where is he? Scarlet, I need to know. I don't know. Why don't you tell me? And I'm glad. I never want to see him again. First love. And you desperately wanted to keep him as that boy, the boy that you fell for. I understand, because I've been there myself. <laughs> you go where the heart takes you. And, well, I was lucky with Michael. Andrew's a totally different person now. I thought he'd always be honest and good. Life can change folk. But he, he never treated me badly. He was always so loving. He always showed you the good side. He kept all the bad stuff hidden. I, I threw everything away for him. I split my family. I took his side over my wings. Look, look what happened to Carl. If I hadn't been with Andrew, he'd never have ended up in care. You don't know that. I do. It was my fault. Everybody saw what Andrew was. Everybody except me. But I shouted you saw doing. Andrew. Bad to a lot of people. Aye. And I let him. What am I going to say to them? Be honest. Take responsibility for all the mistakes you've made. Where do I start with that, Bernie? Start with the one that gave you the hardest time. I told you on the phone, Mum. I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a ton of work to get done. I know, but I have to tell you something. I need to finish this assignment for work. It's really important, darling. And I promised I'd meet Dean later. Sorry. I... I was wrong and you were right. About what? About Andrew. He's not the man I thought he was. Just like you said. I should have listened to you. I've been so stupid. Are you going to say I told you so? No. I thought I'd lost you. I believed all his lies and I put him before you, before everybody. I, uh, I just hope you can forgive me one day. Do you hate me? You're my mum. I never hate you. Some strange callers today. Everything okay? 
Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Well, I tried calling you a few times this afternoon, but you never picked up. Aye, I saw it done. Busy day. Scarlet stopped me in the street the day. Why do you talk about what happened? Looks like she's finally seen sense, realises he was telling her a whole pack of lies. She doesn't want to see him again. Well, I'm glad she's come to her senses. But that doesn't explain why you're drinking at three in the afternoon and you look like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. What is it? Campbell Baxter's gone. He's out of Glasgow. Well, where's he gone? I don't know. There are people looking. It does appear on Christmas Day. Him and the sister. They've been working together all this time? Looks like it. All that carry on about getting cow released, that was just a diversion. Gosh, I didn't know she couldn't be trusted. No, we, we were both aware of the risks. But we had to get Calm out of that secure unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was always a gamble. I should have had them watched. I can't believe he's going to get away with it all. He's got away with nothing. I'll find him and the sister. They must have been planning things for weeks. They'll have everything worked out. Nobody completely disappears. There's always a trace. You just need to know where to look. I mean, look how long it took you to find me, and I didn't have anywhere near the resources they have. Face it, Lenny. They could go just about anywhere in the world and live comfortably. We're never going to find them. Should be lying on a beach with the Financial Times. Sat here waiting for the Grim Reaper. There's a reason Dad kept a hideaway in the middle of nowhere. No one knows this place exists. So pour yourself a drink and relax. Oh, well, I'm sorry if I'm not in the mood for celebrating, but there's a ruthless gangster out to kill me and you won't tell me what the plan is. Everything is in hand. Just tying up a few loose ends. Is that why you spent the past three days trying to get into Dad's safe? It's a small house. I hear things. It's no secret. I need to know what's inside. Unfortunately, Dad never entrusted me with the code. Well, there's no valuables in there. It's just paperwork. It's the paperwork that concerns me. So, tomorrow? Our transport arrives. We fly to Lisbon, and then go our separate ways for a while. And Lenny? My contacts are still digging into his shady endeavors, but soon they'll have enough to bring him down. And then we can come home and life goes on. Well, that wasn't so hard. But whatever's in that safe needs to come with us. We cannot leave any sensitive documents behind. OK, I get it, but I don't know the combination either. That was such a luddite. He probably scribbled the code on the fridge or something. His black book. He wrote all the passwords on the back page, but it's in a box of his things at the flat. Well. I guess I'm going to Glasgow, then. Well, you can't be serious. I think Lenny's spies could be anywhere. If you're willing to drive all that way, risk your life just, just to open that safe. Of course not. I'm trying to make a clean getaway. But you have left a book full of confidential information for anyone to find. So put your feet up. See in the new year with a nice Merlot. I'm off to clean up your mess again. If you're not back by morning, I'm leaving without you.
checking all the known addresses, everybody they're connected to. The Campbell Baxters are a lot of things, but they're not stupid. There comes a point where we have to be honest with ourselves. I'll find them, OK? There still leads to folly. What leads? Well, Mick's waiting some info. Right? They've not left the country. We don't know that. We don't know anything. People don't just vanish. There must be something, a clue, a forwarding address. Exactly. We just need time. I don't have time, Lenny. I can't let this nightmare drag into another year. It has to end. I can't keep... I, 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 I don't. I don't want your comfort. I need you to find Andrew. Oh, I'm going for a walk. I, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's get a bit of space. Hello? Well, well. The famous Lydia Murdoch. Andrew never mentioned you were a burglar. If I were prosecuting, you'd be looking at 18 months. Try again. As last words go, I think you can do better. The arrogance is stunning brazenly waltzing back into town. There's nothing brazen about it. I haven't done anything wrong. Do you think I'm an idiot? No, but given this baseless notion of a double cross, I suspect you have quite the imagination. <laughs> oh, where have I heard that before? All right, your brother. After he raped me. I never once doubted your story. We had a deal. And you and Andrew, you just took off without a word. Our deal still stands. So why haven't you been in touch? I've been off grid, no phone signal. No, no, no. If that were true, you'd have called the minute you came out of hiding. Andrew's getting suspicious. The clock is ticking. Why should I waste precious time reassuring you that nothing has changed? Out of respect! If you had, maybe we wouldn't be here. I don't have time for this. And neither do I! Tell me where Andrew is. And watch you jeopardise everything at the 11th hour. Look at yourself, Lydia. You're an emotional wreck. Of course I am! Take a breath. If you go racing in like this, Andrew will see you coming from a mile away. There's only one piece of the puzzle missing, and right now you're standing in the way of it. So please, put down the knife and let me get on with it. What are you looking for? When I can't help you if you won't tell me. I really want to help. Go home and wait for my call. I'm still waiting for the last one, remember? You don't have to like me, Lydia. Just appreciate that we want the same thing. No, we don't. I want justice for what your brother did to me. All you want is money. Please. The money's just a bonus. Power, then. With Andrew gone, you get the crown. Queen of the Campbell-Baxter Empire. You think you hate my family? Try living in it. Try being the only girl in my father's sleazy boys' club. The atrocities I've had to turn a blind eye to would make you sick to your stomach. My heart bleeds for you. Of course you wouldn't understand. Please, continue your tragic tale of how your family destroyed lives with impunity. But you were the real victim. You're twisting my words. Well, untwist them. 
<laughs> I mean, you talk as though your hands are clean, but you made choices. Every time you turned a blind eye, you enabled those atrocities. Every time you stayed silent, you were complicit. Strong words coming from a woman who stood by a violent criminal for years. It's not the same. Lenny, he's not the same as Andrew. Face it, Lydia. We may come from different worlds, but we have more in common than you care to imagine. Well, there is one thing that's different. I'm not too proud to ask for help when I need it. Book, Lydia. Not until you tell me why it's so important. If I don't get back to Andrew soon, he'll be gone, along with your last chance for retribution. You better talk fast, then. <sighs> the back page. There's a list of passwords, including the code to a safe. A safe? After that whole sob story, this is about money. No, if you shut up and listen, you'd soon discover that the contents of that safe are worth more to you than anyone. My father kept a file on all his premier clients, the NDAs he made their victims sign, the silence he bought to keep them out of prison. Those files were his security. They granted him power. And by premier clients, you mean? You name it, business leaders, politicians, his own son. Are you saying there's proof of what Andrew did to Patricia Brookfield? The two of you are just the tip of the iceberg. There's more. <gasps> How many other women has he assaulted? Everything you need to know is in that file. And once Andrew's dead, it'll be more than enough to destroy his legacy too. In fact, it's crucial to the plan. I don't follow. If Glasgow's lawyer of the year vanishes for no reason, they'll be investigating for months, leave no stone unturned. But if he were to go missing, just as his sick crimes came to light. Well, it sounds like you've thought of everything. I leave nothing to chance. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to Andrew. What happens next? The minute I have that file, I'll contact you with the address. Lenny takes care of Andrew. You leak the documents to the police. And we can all get on with our lives. Smart plan. All you have to do now is trust me. And there's your problem. I will never trust you. Very well. I can only assume you have a better plan. Answering her phone. It's been hours. Probably got on silent. I told you we shouldn't have let her go out alone. Oh, what? Now this is my fault? Well, you were the one who said she needed space. Amber, you know your mother does not like to be handled. <sighs> Maybe we should phone the police. And say what? Going to help me find my wife so we can go and murder a sunny high court judge? Campbell Baxter's are long gone. Mum knows it too. No. We carry on searching. I'm sorry, Dad. It's over. Happy New Year, Lenny. Sorry I forgot the lump of coal. Mum? Get your coat and your gun. Andrew dies today. 